The cold air just hit. That storm is coming this way. Oh my God. Oh, oh, he's taking off. Good morning, Joey Antonelli here, and we got a beautiful beach day. We got birds diving, we got some bait out there working. And we're gonna see what we can get on fish gum this morning. And if we catch anything that's the right size and shape, we'll be throwing it out there for bait. So we're not gonna be wasting much time getting the action hat on my head, ripping open a piece of fish or pack of fish gum. And on this rod, I have kind of like a little pompano rig. I call it a croaker rig. It's basically a modified pompano rig. There's no floats, hooks are a little closer together. Low tide right now, so we're gonna walk it out a little ways just because we can. We also got the cast net. We can throw the cast net. Man, this water is clear. Bombing it out there. All right, I feel like we're in the croaker turf. As I like to call it. Haven't seen any croakers close in. It's been the worst year for croakers so far for me. Let's see if we can find one. All right, finally, we found some bait. We got a bunch of minnows right here. And mixed in the minnows, there's stuff eating them. So we're gonna take the net, go right on the outside of the minnows. The minnows won't get stuck in this net. I'm just gonna throw the net and see what's around the minnows. But we loaded up on good bait right there. Lots of good, good bait. Let's see, let's see. It's a big old horn belly. Let's get that smaller horn belly right there. If I can catch him. Horn belly. The tail hook action horn belly. That is one of my favorite beach baits there. Oh, I just had a tarpon on. There's a tarpon right there. Come on. Right in the middle of the school right there. Oh yeah, we're in the tarpons now. Come on, tarpon. Woo, look at him go, look at him go. Woo, snook on. Looking for the tarpon, but we'll take a snook. Right there in the trough. There's another one with him too. Let's keep that rod tip down. Oh, there he goes. Snook in the surf. Look at him tailing right out there. We want to catch a tarpon though, so we're not going to spend too much time on this. We got 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, so fraying off is not really something that's going to happen. We'll just keep walking him down the beach. Oh man, he thumped that horn belly. Tail hook horn belly. Surf him in on this wave. Yep. That's a big one. That's a big one. 34, 36. Fish in the Salt X, 6,000. Oh, he's kicking. Tarpon rolling out there in the distance. All right, I think he's about had it. There you go. Solid one. Let's get the hook out. Circle hook right there. Okay, okay. On this on the 6,000 salt X. 
Big old fat tail. All right, mama. You ready? Get her nice and strong. Oh, she's shaking. She's biting. There you go. Swimming away. Look how shaped up that is. We're gonna retie that and get back out there because there's still fish blowing up. Gotta get back out. All right, let's get some bait. There we go, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, hornbelly special. All right, let's see if we can get him on the horn belly. Gosh, they're just blowing up right in there. There he is. There he is, he's out there. Look at that head shake, big tarpon on. Woo! Oh, nice one. Nice one, thump the horn belly in the surf. Oh yeah. There we go. There he is. Oh, he is not done. He is mad. Look at that thing go. Look at that thing go. All right, that was sick. I think I got to eat on video too. He thumped it right in the trough. Perfect fish, perfect fish. That's what we're looking for here. Summertime tarp and chew. I've had a lot of people on the channel. Oh, look at him airing out on the trough. That's not my fish. Mine's way on the outside. I've had a lot of people saying, when are you gonna go to the beach? Well, we're on the beach. And then the gear that we're using here, this is a Salt X. Tsunami Salt X 6000 on the Salt X surf rod. A little more heat on them. 11, and a, 11 foot surf rod. Can't wait to get some of the new Salt X stuff this fall though. This is the first gen, my Salt X2, I still have it. It just has heavier line on it. Not really what I wanted for this situation. I wanted something light that I could cast really easily with a lot of line. Woo! When I say light, it's not light. It's still something that breaks at uh, close to 40 pounds. I got that 80 pound tsunami fluorocarbon on there with a 7 0 tsunami salt X hook. And it's got him tight right now. He's kind of by that white water. Kind of walking him down the beach. That little bait and switch move worked perfect, man. I brought that other rod to have a sabiki on it. Caught a couple horn bellies. Kept one, first bait out, and we tight. Tarp and rolling right there. Oh man, I've been having fun offshore, but it's nice to be on the beach. This is like one of my favorite fisheries in the, the whole world, or that I do at least. All right, we're gaining and gaining on them, gaining on them. Ooh, he's right there. He's, oh, oh, coming up, no, no. Oh, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad. There he is, big one, big jumps. Gosh. I say these fish throw down is the best fighting fish in the world. You Google it, you'll see them show up in all the top 10 lists. Usually above them, something like a marlin or a sailfish or a sword or big bluefin or tuna or something. The reason why I put tarpon at number one is because you can keep your feet on the sand and catch them. You can catch them on fly, you can catch them in the flat, you can catch them offshore, and they throw down. I'm not saying they fight harder than a bluefin or a blue marlin, because they definitely don't. But on the right tackle, and the amount of different ways you can target them, I think tarpon is hands down the number one sport fish in the world. They will test you like no other. 
This is the fourth one I had on today. It's the first one I've actually took. Just had super horrible luck today. But number five, found a hook. And there he goes. I put a lot of heat to him. I don't know if I pulled the hook or broke him off or what. But those things have incredibly bony mounts, so it wouldn't surprise me if all I did was pull the hook. Ooh, look at him jumping out there. We're gonna get another one on. No, we frayed him off. There we go, right in the trough. Horn belly on. All right, we're gonna get bit. They're starting to, there, there he is. There he is. Let's see a jump. Come on, where's the jump? He don't know what's going on yet. There he is. Turf on. Turf on. I knew that one was gonna get bit. They started doing that little frenzying right in there. Ooh, we're gonna roll him. Look at it going. Coming up for a jump. Let's do that jump, come on. Nope, take me out there. All right, tarpon number two. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fight them hard. And if we fray them off, that's all good because we'll just hook another one. Best part of the fight already happened. That hookup, those jumps, that was sick. Another good sized fish too. I don't really like claiming weight, but if I was gonna claim a weight, I'd say 60 to 80 on this one, not a little one. We'll go with small, medium, large, and extra large. I'd put this one at a, between a medium and a large. Now that sums up Florida summertime fishing. Look at that sky behind me. It is gnarly. Hopefully it stays up that way. But I got a feeling we're gonna get dumped on here soon. And that action hat, that's what I got on my head. A lot of people ask how we change from the filming like this to when I'm holding the camera. It's an action hat. Look them up. They, I don't get paid by them or anything. I've just been using them since, basically since I started really doing YouTube videos. I love them. I've tried different mounts around the neck, chest strap, chest. I feel like all you see is a reel the whole time. I love that perspective of the action hat. Shout out Rex, you're my dog. He's been pushing those action hats for a long time. Doing great with them. Love them. All right, I got a feeling he's going to give us a jump real close to shore. He's coming in close, almost to the trough. My reel is not completely full of line, so I know the spool doesn't have to be full. I'm really right about there. The cold air just hit. That storm is coming this way. Oh my God. Oh, oh, he's taking off. He's taking off on us. Where did this energy just come from? I got this thing trying to pull down his back real hard. I mean, Dude, I'm pulling so hard on this thing. Oh! Come on! I'm pulling so hard on this fish. And there you go, that's tarpon fishing again, 0 for 2. Put a lot of heat on them. Sometimes you'll turn them, sometimes you'll fray them off, or pull the hook, or bend the hook. And that's what happened. Probably tie a new piece of leader on, a little longer piece of leader, and get back after it. See if we can hook another. Nothing wrong. Just pulled the hook. After all that, 